Hi everyone! This is going to be a short tutorial on how to use the Label us or Label Me annotation tool to label and submit your images for judging. So first you need to log into your account. Uh, so in your confirmation email you're going to receive a link to set up your account. I already have my account set up so I'm going to go ahead and log in. And once I'm logged in I can see my annotations in progress. So these are the uh, images that I'm still working on annotating uh, and you can see underneath each image we have the current score and this score is calculated based off of the number and the type of priority objects that you have already annotated in your image. You see you also have the option to delete your image and you also have the option to once you're you know, completely happy with your annotation, you can go ahead and you can request review by a judge. Um, so once you request review for an image, it'll take your image to the pending review. And um, if you decide I want to go back and edit my image, you can cancel your review and that'll take your image back to your annotations in progress. Um, but if you had decided to that you were finished with that image, it would have stayed in your pending review for a judge to look at. And then once a judge reviews it, they will give you a final score, um, which means your image can no longer be edited and your image will be in the finished annotations. So. Going back to our annotations in progress, let's work on one of these images and we'll see how to label some priority objects. So if you wanted to work on a new image or upload a new image, you have a couple of different options. So you got two options over here. You can upload an image and if you click on that, you can see all of the upload guidelines down here. And then you can also see that you need to upload a JPEG and the dimensions also as well are listed um, and the file size as well. Um, one thing to note is, is if you are uploading your own images, um, you do have to submit them for review. Um, so that, that is one thing to keep in mind. Um, another option you have is this start a new annotation button down here. So um, we'll have a couple or several images loaded into the system, uh, kind of a database for you to annotate from, um, but there are only going to be so many images in there. So you can see when I click start a new annotation, it looks like I've already um, looked at or annotated all the images. Um, so we're going to go ahead and work on one of the images that we already have down here. So we'll go work on this one. So whenever you're labeling your images, you want to go ahead and look in your image and see what priority objects you have in there. Um, so it looks like we have a window over here, we've got a fire extinguisher, fire alarm over there. Um, and you want to make sure you're labeling all instances of your priority objects. Um, so just for a little demo, I'll label this fire extinguisher down here. Um, and before we get started on that, I will mention that this question mark up here contains all the instructions to create annotation, edit, your annotation and then different options on how to view your image so zooming and um, options to enhance the brightness um, so if you need a refresher or forget these instructions are always available for you so we're gonna go ahead and label our fire extinguisher down here um, so we're going to go over to our polygon tool. So we click on that circle over there and then we want to outline the border of our fire extinguisher. So we're just going to click 
around our fire extinguisher and that's going to create every time we click it's going to create a point and so once we have our fire extinguisher outlined we want to close our polygon and to do that you just click on your initial point which will be in green right here and so once you're once you click on that point it will bring up this menu and so this is when you want to enter your object name so all the priority objects are listed for you in this drop down so now we just need to find the our fire extinguisher which is right here so we just click that um, and then done and that's it um, and if you want to if you make a point accidentally um, say you do a point over there a point over there you can always erase by clicking on your eraser over here um, and then to edit any of your polygons all you have to do is click on the border and it'll bring up your menu again if you want to adjust the name or if you want to adjust the size you can click on your adjust polygon and you can click any of the points and move your polygon around to make it fit the outline of your priority object a little bit better. Um, and whenever you're done editing, you just click anywhere on your image and um, that will go away. So that's just a quick little tutorial on how to use um, Label Me to label your image and then also how to um, submit your image for review and where you, you will see your finished images and your score once uh, your images have been reviewed.